Hi, welcome to another Primo Guitar Studio instructional video. Today we're going to be talking about thumb placement on the neck, the angle uh, at which you should be placing your thumb on the back of the neck, and the different effects that has on where your fingers fall on the fretboard. I find this is one of the biggest mistakes I see people without guitar training making, placing their thumb parallel to the neck. Um, it's very hard to fix once you're in the habit. So I'm going to show you how to do it properly so you can start the right way. Alright, when we start talking about thumb placement on the neck, the key factor to pay attention to is the angle of your thumb. Okay, What we want to do is place the thumb about the middle of the back of the neck, maybe slightly higher, All right, and then at either a diagonal angle like this, or straight up and down, depending on what we're playing. Now the reason we do this, and you'll see when I turn this around so you can see the other side, notice if I put my thumbs up and down, either diagonal or vertical, how much space between my hand and the guitar there is. I really have a lot of room to pivot, so I can grab these low strings real easily by sliding my, thumb, my wrist underneath the guitar. And I can grab the high strings real easily by pulling my wrist back. The big mistake that I see a lot of people making and that we want to avoid is placing the thumb parallel to the neck. When you place the thumb parallel to the neck, that brings my palm up to touch the bottom of the guitar. When your palm's touching the bottom of the guitar, that means the knuckles on the other side of your hand are very close to the bottom of the fretboard. So if I want to reach up to grab these top strings, I really have to flatten my fingers, which interferes with the other strings, or if I'm grabbing at the top, or the, the high E string, I really have to bunch up my fingers. So this is the one we want to avoid. Alright, so let's take a look uh, at what that looks like on the other side of the neck. Here's my thumb diagonal. Notice how much room I have to play with my hand. I can reach up and grab this string here. I can reach down and grab this string here really easily, okay? Now if I take that thumb and I put it parallel, Notice how much my fingers have to flex to get the high E and how much they have to flatten to get the low E. Now thumb placing isn't a hard and fast rule. You'll see many guitar players, they move their thumb around depending on what they're doing. So like if I'm grabbing a D chord, my thumb kind of comes pretty high to counterbalance my fingers going really low to grab those bottom three strings. If I'm going to a G though, it'll start to slide lower different chords, I'll place it in different places. C tends to shift there. But you'll notice all the while it still stays pretty vertical, avoiding that horizontal switch. It's very hard to grab these open chords with your thumb still parallel to the neck. Very difficult to grab that G. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Keep that thumb vertical or a diagonal instead of horizontal so you can grab all the strings on the neck. Um, it's a very, very important but often overlooked element of your guitar playing.